Uh, this is a farm that my wife and I moved to about three years ago now. And um, we've been living here to kind of regain control, I guess, about over our health. Yeah. Was like the, the main reason. And in all of this, like uh, uh, along with us moving out here, wanting to look after our health was the, the realization of cannabis and how... Um, how much that could affect our well-being and how how much better it made our day-to-day -day life once we discovered this this incredible plant mm -hmm. it was uh it was after justine had had breast cancer uh that was about seven years ago now mm -hmm. and um she went through the the mastectomy and the the radiation and the uh, chemo. chemo and then i took painkillers for five years mm-hmm and it was a really but you were using years. cannabis with those with those once pain I started to also. it made it better yeah but I used painkillers on their own for a long time yeah so I was afraid to try cannabis I didn't want to do it, it freaked me out even through like your your cancer treatments and stuff yeah I wouldn't try it while I was sick only um, afterwards mm -hmm. and it was on like my like wanting to relax on my nights off after <laughs> yes I saw Ian having fun <laughs> I was so stressed out for a year <laughs> When I was, when Justine was sick, and I brought up wanting to try cannabis as a, as a way to just relax and, and calm down on my days off and just kind of, <laughs> what I wanted to do was watch something funny and eat cereal and go to bed. And that's what, like, that was the stigma I had with cannabis. And, um, you know, through, through using it in, the, in this way of, of wanting to calm down, you could actually follow my my activism with with cannabis as I started using cannabis. I, I I started using it well into my 30s. Like I was actually 30 when I started using it, and uh, um, you don't hear that a lot. Yeah, it usually starts like you know in 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 teenage years and is kind of a lifelong thing. But for us, we found it really late, mm -hmm. but in very necessary times, mm -hmm. you know. And it helped a lot. I I finally tried it, and it was like a miracle. It was unbelievable. So now I'm strong again. I can lift. I can do farm work by myself, like, which is kind of what I wanted to prove to myself with moving here. You know, like I remember we had cedar, and I had one on either thing, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> carrying the wood, and it's been really cool. But I won't. I wouldn't be able to do it if I hadn't used cannabis before ever. So we have to use it daily. Mm -hmm. I think legalization is super important because I've spent this time feeling really guilty about using my medicine mm -hmm. that saved my life, and so. For, that, that's for it, me, though. that's we the were tricky using it part. Legally, though, right? Yeah. That's why it's like. Yeah, and uh, I think, you know, I don't think anybody anybody should ever be in jail for using this life-saving medicine or mm -hmm. having it or sharing it. I'm glad that people are starting to accept it now.